Hi, I'm at the William H. Gray III 30th Street Station waiting for the first keystone of the day. And I'm doing something that I'm very excited about today. So, Snyder's of Hanover is unabashedly my favorite pretzel company. Uh, they just make the best snack pretzels. They're so good. Um, and I found out that their factory is within transit distance from Philadelphia. It's a long trip, um, but it's possible. So today we're taking the Keystone to the Rabbit Transit 83N to the Rabbit Transit 16, um, and we're going to go to Hanover to tour the Snyder's factory, and I'm so excited. right on time. This is also my first time on the Keystone, which in itself is quite exciting. Harrisburg. We're getting on here, and we literally just deviate throughout Harrisburg for like half an hour before finally going on Interstate 83, a few park and ride stops from New York. So, um, yeah, it's gonna be a fun ride, I guess. Ooh, it's a coach bus. Rabbit Transit Hub. Oh, here's the 16. Cool. All right, this is my bus. Free battery, I guess. I don't know why we deviated to a gas station, but four people got off, so I guess it's worth it. Okay, we are here in the middle of nowhere, and I believe that is the Snyder's factory, which is very exciting. Now, I believe that, uh, well, I don't believe, I know that they don't like cameras in there, so I won't be able to film anything, but I'm very excited, and I'll tell you about it when I get out. All right, so that was the most amazing experience I've ever had. That, that place is so cool. Um, that was an amazing tour. It was free. They give you a few, they give you two little bags of pretzel at the end for free. And the factory store has everything like on huge discounts. Um, so I bought a ton of pretzels for a pretty cheap. Um, but I mean, you know, I bought things. I have less money than I started out with. I think you know what that means. I'm gonna have to go home in the cheapest way possible. Uh-oh. And you know what they say, this is gonna be interesting. Alright, looks like we're thankfully getting a sidewalk up here. So, um, the 16 from here to York runs every two hours most of the day. Except for now, when it decides to run every three hours, there's a three hour gap from 10 a.m. to 1, a, uh, 1 p.m. So, it's like 11.20 right now. So, <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna walk to Hanover, I'm gonna walk to downtown Hanover and get lunch, I guess, because I'm not going to hang out in the middle of nowhere for an hour and a half. Alright, so this appears to be the official 
rapid transit stop for Hanover. Oh, looks like we're getting one of these. Oh, yeah, there we go. It's a old box again. Since I've done the 16 before, I'm probably going to take a nap on this ride. Um, and I'll see you in New York. Alright, we have a nice one now. Um, we're going to take this to Walmart, and then from there we're going to get the 12 to Columbia. The 12, does, like, the, the 12 doesn't come here for some reason. Um, but luckily the driver of the 16 gave me a transfer ballot for two trips, so hopefully uh, it works out. I was anticipating having to pay twice, so that's good. Ooh, my minibus just parked up there. That makes me excited. We can only hope. Well, not in service apparently. Oh well. Well, uh, who knows. It's the 12, yay! Okay, this is Columbia, um, and we're getting the Red Rose Transit 17 now to um, Lancaster. All right, so this fare system makes no sense. So, so the fare was 250 because I guess this is three zones and not four zones. And then the transfer was free. But when I make my connection in Lancaster, this is Route 17 to Lancaster. Then I pay the amount needed to travel more zones, which might be 85 cents or it might be 125. I don't know. The point is that I'm at 250 right now. This there's look, look at this. This is the fare system, and then all of these rules, and then oh half fare and passes. Ugh, it's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. Where is this traffic coming from? Queen Street Transit Station, and we have about 25 minutes until our bus. The wayfinding in this terminal is terrible. I, I didn't realize it was this like underground parking lot bit, um, but I finally found the 21 going out to Gap, and we're actually on the last trip at the 4:45. Okay, um, this is the Gap Shopping Center. Uh, that was quite a ride. That was interesting, I guess. Um, no, I mean, it was really interesting. I'm a little bit harried right now because I now have to do a, a uh, quite impossible feat. Not impossible, but uh, difficult <laughs> feat of, uh, I have to run to Parksburg in about an hour and 15 minutes. And it's supposed to be like a two hour walk. And I'm pretty sure I won't be able to do it. And that would sacrifice the cheapest way thing for that to get the last bus, the last T-Mac bus out of Thing Thing, Parksburg. So I don't know, we'll see what happens. 
I don't have high hopes. Am I even going the right way? Ah, uh, cut there, I guess. It hasn't taken me long to realize that I'm not very athletic. I think I might try hitchhiking. <laughs> possibly go wrong. Is that right? Is that how you do it? Hitchhiker's thumb. I'm really scared. And like, what kind of expression should I make? Should I be friendly? Should I be scared? Like, oh no, I don't know if I'm gonna like make it in time or wherever I'm going. Who knows where I'm going? Should I be neutral? I don't know, it's a lot to think about. Oh man. Oh, it's so hard, it's scary. Yeah, that's right. Turn away. <laughs> Alright, I tried making a little note. <laughs> we'll see if this helps at all. Okay, it's 617. <laughs> um, I, I successfully got here via hitchhike. <laughs> uh, this guy in a pickup truck named Larry, uh, <laughs> he, he told me that I was hitchhiking wrong. He said that I shouldn't have had a sign um, and I didn't do the thumb right. <laughs> But it was my first time and probably my last time. I don't know if I ever want to do that again um, But it was very nice. Larry was very nice um, That was a very strange experience. I don't think I'll ever want to do it again and <laughs> I really can't believe I just did that um, But I can check that off the bucket list now. I've hitchhiked before um, Yeah, so now I've got a long time till the bus so <sighs> Parksburg that I cannot believe I did that. That's so weird. <laughs> Jeez. Thank you so much, Larry. I don't know if you'll ever see this, but uh, you're an angel. <laughs> oh, it's a mini bus. Link to Perksburg. <laughs> we just helped a lady bring her bags to her house. <laughs> this, is, this is quite a night. This is quite an evening. <laughs> and still in this mini bus. I swear we're like doubling back on ourselves. No, we're not. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, nice and steep. Does the jiggling ever get on your nerves? Huh? The way the bus jiggles around, does that ever get on your nerves? Well, you get used to it. Yeah. I hate these things, but yeah. get the job done. Okay, here we are in um, Calm Township. I totally mispronounced that. Um, lots to talk about. First of all, the fare was $275, um, which is stupidly expensive, um, but that's okay. Um, uh, I, I say it's stupidly expensive because, like, that route's a mess. It just, like, deviates everywhere, twists and turns, and goes all over the place. It's a jiggly minibus. Um, yeah. But, uh, it was actually quite a fun ride. The driver <laughs> happens to be a former chair of the Youth Advisory Council, the SEPTA Youth Advisory Council, uh, and a trans enthusiast. So, um, that was a lot of fun. Uh, he let me stay on at the, at the bus's terminus on going that way. Um, because I would have had to have a long wait for this train anyway. So we went up there, uh, had dinner at Wawa, which was great, which was fantastic, uh, and then came back down. And now I'm walking to Thorndale. Um, now, coming back, um, I'm not going to be taking this train all the way to Philadelphia because that's expensive. Instead, I'm going to be using the $4 um, interzone fare, or whatever SEPTA calls it, um, 
taking it to Overbrook, and then walking to the 10 trolley. And basically that's gonna be $6 total instead of taking the train all the way into Center City, which would be $7 total. Um, now you may say that that is a stupid waste of time, and it is, but it's also a dollar cheaper, so. <laughs> it's been seven and a half hours since we left Hanover. And we're finally back in Septa territory. It'll feel good to jump on that train. <laughs> we're off, but I can't celebrate yet because I still have to do Overbrook and the 10. So I'm gonna take a nap. I saw real cows. This cow means nothing to me. Anyway, it's 9.46. The train was late because of a passenger causing a disturbance. Um, I'm now hoping to get to the 10 in time. There's a 9.53 and then I believe the next one's a 10.13. things I strongly recommend. 